So last week we had, had a conversation about nuts and the impact nuts can have on your weight. And, and I want to talk a little bit more about nuts today. And, and specifically, are there any health benefits associated with eating nuts? And, and there are. You know, one thing I want to caution you on, though, is that, again, nuts you know, they have a, a high caloric uh, content, meaning that uh, there's a lot of calories in nuts. Uh, so you need to be cautious because it's really easy to uh, you really consume excess calories when eating nuts because it just takes a small quantity to really kind of get your caloric intake up. So the first thing I want to talk about is nuts and the impact of inflammation. One thing we know that is that, that a lot of illnesses are the end result of inflammation. And what I mean by that, so we're learning that coronary artery disease or heart disease is really an inflammatory process. Uh, lots of cancers are associated with inflammation. And, and really, inflammation is a very much a common denominator in a lot of illnesses. So does, does, does uh, a diet rich in nuts help with that inflammation? And, and yeah, it does. It's the simple answer. So um, chronic inflammation, like I said, is already associated with a lot of illnesses. And actually, nuts can help reduce chronic inflammation. So, uh, and one of the mechanisms is, is that we know that nuts are are high in, in a fat content, and they're they're specifically high in an anti-inflammatory omega-3 uh, fatty acid that helps kind of uh, fight inflammation. So, uh, one of the components is the uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, another component is nuts are often rich in, in magnesium and some other uh, micronutrients. These these are also thought to play a, a very much a key role in inflammation or the prevention of inflammation. There was actually one study done in Australia where they followed 25 older 2,500 older adults uh, for about 15 years, and then uh, basically tried to look at what their diet was, and also based on uh, what happened, what was their cause of death. Uh, in that that group of 2,500, there was about uh, 200 that died from an inflammatory disease. And and then the researchers looked and said, is there anything that seemed to be impacting uh, uh, these groups of people differently? And one of the things they determined was that that nuts was a, a significantly uh, decreased your risk of dying from an inflammatory disease process. And in fact. They said as little as 1.4 grams a day. That's basically, you know, less than the weight of a penny. That was a, a, of nut consumption was associated with a 49% uh, decreased uh, risk of dying from a chronic inflammatory disease. So really, that's basically eating an almond a day you can significantly decrease your risk of, of death related to these inflammatory diseases. Another study, there was over 5,000 participants, and they basically found that, that uh, nut consumption was associated with lower inflammatory markers. So the people that ate uh, nuts, uh, they measured certain ch chemicals in their blood and found that their, their markers of inflammation were lower. So there is quite a bit of evidence to support that, that nuts can be healthy for us. Uh, in multiple ways, and one of those ways is in redu reducing or prevention uh, that chronic inflammatory process that kind of ties a lot of diseases together. Now, one of those diseases specifically is heart disease. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the specifics of heart disease and nut consumption. So uh, there was one uh, group of uh, investigators that really wanted to know, you know, what, what does the impact nuts have um, specifically on um, things like your cholesterol and things like that. And um, they basically looked at 25 different studies trying to, to see what the information they could, could kind of glean from this. And, and really, um, one of the things that uh, was evident was basically simple, simply eating nuts uh, or adding nuts to your, your uh, daily diet would significantly um, cut your risk down of, of, 
of death, basically sudden cardiac death. And in fact, they estimated it to be uh, cutting it in half of, of your risk of sudden cardiac uh, death. That's, that's pretty significant because, you know, people that uh, have heart disease often don't know they have heart disease and the majority of them, their first symptom of heart disease is sudden cardiac death. Um, so it, not consumption actually is something that can actually help um, reduce uh, that. Now, one of the things that whenever you're looking at research, it's important to understand kind of uh, follow the money, if you will. Uh, and when you look at studies, you know, it's important to understand who's, who's funding the studies because it's real easy to kind of highlight data you want and kind of ignore other data. So in, in looking at these studies, that, that would be um, one of the criticisms because the nut industry was heavily involved in, in helping fund uh, some of these studies. But again, they still do. Uh, show some positive light on, on the impact of nuts can happen in heart disease. Um, another study basically also was looking at the uh, uh, sudden uh, uh, cardiac death. And they actually, an autopsy looked at people and they found that, that a lot of people at heart autopsy had lower magnesium concentrations. And, and so that's one of the, the beliefs that how nuts may impact your overall health in, in sudden cardiac death is because uh, some nuts are rich in magnesium. So uh, lots of uh, evidence to support the value of, of nuts. And then the final category I want to talk about is cancer, specifically breast cancer. And there was a study basically that they uh, concluded that, that you could significantly uh, reduce your risk of breast cancer um, by eating nuts. Now, one of the kind of the flaws of this study was that um, it may not necessarily be so much nuts as much as fiber. Um, and, and we were learning that diets rich in fiber help uh, uh, prevent cancer. And, and so in this study, they, they found that basically two servings of nuts a week was associated with a 36% risk reduction in breast cancer. But some of that, you know, could be attributed to just a higher fiber content, um, uh, not necessarily nuts specifically, but again, good evidence to showing that, that nuts can have a positive impact on, on our overall health. But again, the final word of caution, like I said in the beginning, nuts are very uh, uh, dense with calories. And so, you know, you, you can sit down and start eating some raw almonds and before you know it, consume a significant amount of calories. And again, um, healthy weight is also based on your caloric needs and excess caloric calories become deposited as, as other things in the body. So it's important we understand what we're eating, but also how much we're eating. So remember, nuts in, in moderation can have uh, significant health benefits. So I would encourage you to find some nuts you like and enjoy them periodically. So thank you.